easy to become successful, but business experts say now is the best time in the last 30 years to make your fortune in business. So today we're talking to Topher Morrison, author of Collaboration Economy, about his keys to success. And, you know, I did take, do a quick read through or a quick glance through the book, and this is really some good stuff because it, things have really changed. They it, have. You know, just with technology and the way that everything is changing. What What is it that makes this time the best time to start up a business? Well, there's never been a greater time simply because there's never been a greater influx of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, you know, when the information age died in about 2010, and it's got a couple of legs kicking still, but uh, we've entered this new age called the collaboration age. And as a result of that, we all need to learn how to do business together. And if enough small businesses lock arms and work together, they can become the next big business. In fact, the new the, the new motto is that small is the new big. Small is the new big. And I yeah. think that you had mentioned that, you know, right now it's so hard to keep up with the changing times. So nobody can really be an expert in all of these different changing exactly. things. Yeah. So that's why this works so well. Yeah, yeah. It's about it's about finding out what you're strong in and then doing only that and then finding other people who actually like the things that you can't stand in business and then find a way to pair up and work with them. So partnering up and you know you talk about branding you talk there are so many things what, what are some of the key things that you really think people need to line up when they're start thinking about starting their new business? Yeah the most important thing right now is to realize that um, in the in the, in the in the past 40 years it's always been who has the most information wins so they'll hold their cards very close and then they'll sell that deficit of information to people what's working now mm -hmm. is realizing that you need to become a key person of influence inside your community or into your market or into your industry and then finding other people around you that can bring leads to you versus you having to go out and chase them that really only happens for people who are key people of influence inside their industries well you look at things like uh, LinkedIn and things like that I mean exactly. incredible yeah. because if you're not LinkedIn I mean right. truly that is it is all about marketing yourself in your community as well I'm yeah sure. it's exactly right you know the interesting thing about the internet is it's allowed us to expand our community so much now the danger there though is that a lot of people treat their social networking sites like uh, modern-day uh, stamp collecting and so uh. they just try to get as many friends as they can and as many LinkedIn and what we recommend is that you find as few as possible that are the most effective for you and then work with them and build those relationships versus just have tens of thousands of people that are contacted with you because as in high school Facebook you want to be careful but as adults and and starting your own company sure. I mean your LinkedIn that's truly people are looking at your contacts there so yeah. that makes a lot of sense so you know social media credibility wise uh, it, it really is another reason just to make sure that you're linked in with the correct people right yeah, yeah. if you don't have credibility you know the, the interesting thing is and we talk about branding and branding mm -hmm. is all about making sure that your message is on point to people understand what you're doing yet if they don't give you the credibility to know what that point is, they're still not going to do business with you. So we really say, you know, have that external clarity by making sure that people know what you do, but then take the necessary steps in order to have the credibility to where people want to do business with you. All right, and I know you have the foreword here by uh, Kevin Harrington. So I mean, with uh, yeah, the Shark, Shark Tank, Tank yeah, yeah. So I mean, really, this was an easy, an easy read. It looks like it's an easy read, and it's Very got a lot of great read. information in there. Yeah. On shelves now, yep. people can go grab in bookstores and where you want to go. All right. Well, we sure do appreciate you stopping by this morning. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate it. and we will be right back at 7:51. A short break, and more when we come back.